If you look through the pictures of Verda Wagner Bird's life in Newton, Kansas, it's a good one. She was the daughter of railroad porter Ray Wagner and his wife Edwina. Life was good. I'm comfortable with being a black woman. The couple adopted her back in the 1940s. She found out but never questioned her race. But her story of privilege and progress turned over a shocking page. At age 70, she found out she was white. And I grew up not questioning birth birth or anything else because it was never it was never told to me that I was born white. Missouri adoption records show she was born Jeanette Beagle, the daughter of Earl and Daisy Beagle, Caucasian transients. Jeanette became a ward of the state after her father walked out on 10 kids and her mother fell nearly 30 feet in a trolley accident. I wouldn't go back to my birth name if I had to. Jeanette Beagle does not fit Verda Bird. Jeanette Beagle does not have an education. Jeanette Beagle has no social security money because she never worked. She never even went to kindergarten. And Verda Bird, who was ripped from her white heritage, has definite opinions about Rachel Dolezal, the former NAACP leader who chose to be black. Why are you so upset with her? Because she lied about her race. I didn't lie because I didn't know. Verda Bird has other siblings. As a matter of fact, I spoke with one of her sisters. She says they don't talk about race at all. At the end of the day, Bird does acknowledge that she and Rachel Dolezal did both make a choice to be black, just for different reasons.